Now let's talk about Diagrid and Depper. It's like perfect example of open source where there's open source project, but open source alone without commercial backing, you know, it, 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 it won't survive. Sustainability, we do need uh, a commercial angle. Uh, so talk a bit about uh, the relationship between Diagrid and Depper, how you are helping the community, and at the same time, how you are helping the user community who not just want Depper, but they you know, want a lot of additional features, support behind that. So let's talk about that. Yeah, so I mean, where we are with Diagrid, you know, we see ourselves as a developer-focusing company. Uh, we want to build uh, solutions and tools and API platforms to make developers productive. So, you know, one place that we've started with today is that we see that many, many developers take Dapper and they run it on top of Kubernetes as a platform in production. Uh, you know, Kubernetes has become the de facto standard for how you host and run, uh, you know, large scale applications. Um, and of course, Kubernetes itself has challenges. Um, anything that you deploy on Kubernetes, you have to manage and run. And Dapper, amongst all those projects, has that as well. It has a, a control plane that you have to deploy and upgrade and manage. It has a rich set of metrics that come from it all. So the one place that we are working closely with the community today is that we've built a service um, inside the Diagrid cloud called Diagrid Conductor, and it helps operators um, and developers manage um, Dapper running on Kubernetes. So in other words, it gathers the metrics information, it gives them insights to their application, it gives them advice and best practices. Um, you know, there's a lot of insights that we've gained working with hundreds of enterprises that allow them to understand how to run Dapper in production. We sort of codified that into a set of rules and best practices. So this tool conductor and this service conductor really allows um, enterprises to kind of get to grips with operating and managing Dapper in production. And we've seen huge uh, usage of this in terms of their productivity to be able to increase their reliability, increase their security, um, and overall operate uh, Dapper in these production environments on Kubernetes. From Diagrid's perspective, what kind of uh, you know solutions you know just just to look at it, you know how you know what are, what what kind of things you're offering to customers and users? So everyone running Dapper on Kubernetes today, um, they are basically needing to manage and operate Dapper on top of these platforms themselves, and that can be very troublesome. It incurs lots of cognitive overhead on top of infrastructure teams. And so we offer a fully automated Dapper on Kubernetes. So that product called Diagrid Conductor really takes away all of the toil of operating Dapper on Kubernetes. And then we have a second product coming out, which is a serverless Dapper, fully managed Dapper, um, that basically takes the Dapper APIs that are really lucrative for developers everywhere and offers them to developers running on serverless platforms like AWS Lambda, Google Cloud Functions, um, you know, App Engine, uh, AWS App Runner, Vercel Functions, Cloudflare, all of these edge compute serverless platforms and really accelerate developer productivity by providing them with these ready-made best practices um, baked into these developer primitives. 